Hello dear viewers, we are starting out work in the state television company Western Armenia. Let's see the broadcast for today. The 48th issue of Western Armenia Weekly magazine has been published. The challenges of preserving the right of national restoration. Armenia Gabrihamian. Free legal assistance to citizens of Artsakh. Home of Armenian culture and education blossoming in Shushi. The issue of Artsakh is not closed yet. Baku is preparing for a massive expansion of gas production, The Guardian. The Kingdom of Urartu, the unnoticed giant of the ancient world. The 48th issue of the Western Armenian Weekly magazine was published. A symbol of the struggle for the survival in Artsakh, a brave Armenian soldier, one of the victory makers, a photo of Alberto Varnisian is on the cover of the new issue. Albert, together with the guys under his command, relentlessly fought against Azerbaijan and Turkish terrorists for three days and nights. The brave Armenian soldier risked his life and saved the lives of his fellow soldiers. The viewers, you can read the following topics as well in the new issue. Regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. President Armenia Gabrahamian's speech dedicated to the 155th anniversary of Kovintas, entitled, It is our right to live and preserve the cultural heritage of Western Armenia. Mr. Armenia Gabrahamian's condolence speech regarding the events taking place in Lebanon. The end of exhibitions of Pere, Nadi Yaman. The Treaty of Severus and the Harvard Mission are testimony of genocide against Armenians. Armenian, English and French versions of the weekly newspaper are available at Western Armenian TV. Mr. Armenia Gabrahamian, the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, gave a speech at the event dedicated to the 14th anniversary of the U Armenian Union. President Armenia Gabrahamian reminded that the right to national restoration is vital for the existence of the Armenian people. He spoke about the constant dangers of genocide and called for respect for the homeland and to struggle against ongoing challenges. Mr. Abrahamian confirmed that the mission of the organization is to protect the right to existence of the Armenian people through the protection of cultural values. He emphasized that the representatives of Western Armenia at the UN raised the issues of national rights. At the end, Mr. President awarded the President of the Union for his contribution to the protection of the rights of the Armenian people. On 27 October, a meeting was held with Artsakh residents at the Elite Plaza Business Center in Yerevan. The Mother Armenian Movement and the Armed Consul Law Office organized the meeting. The meeting was called to present a current report on the works done to speak about the social problem of Artsakh citizens, to give professional answers to frequently repeated problems, and to present a position on the possibilities of realization of the right of return of Artsakh citizens. Our compatriots from Artsakh took an active part in the meeting. Shushi was one of the centers of Armenian spiritual creation where many educational and cultural centers were developing. Shushi Diocesan School, founded in the 19th century, was an important educational institute and for society. It was established to educate Armenian youth and preserve nation values, and over the years it became a center of Armenian culture development. The school in Shushi has given the nation a number of outstanding figures from different spheres of life. Aram Manukyan, Narsha Gatayan, Bakhshi Ishkhanyan, Karagina of Sepian, Grikornetsyan, Leo Hakob Hanlarian, Hakob Hovanisyan, Muratsyan, Nikol Duman, Sohomon Melikshah Nazarian, Stepan Agadjanyan, Vagar Vagarsyan, Vartana Bovian, Tamblachi Khachan, and others. The issue of Artsakh is not closed yet and cannot be closed as long as there are people who literally lived in their homeland more than one year. The issue is not closed as long as there are people who struggle for the liberation of their homeland and defended it. There are people who lost their dearest son, brother, father, grandfather for the sake for the existence of the motherland. In short, as long as the memory of the homeland is in our minds, the issue of Artsakh is not closed yet. Today, our compatriots who were forcibly displaced from Artsakh and subjected to ethnic cleansing live isolated, don't have a permanent place to live and are cut off from each other, deprived of non-virtual communication in their dialect, have no condition and possibilities to keep their traditions as much as possible. All of that is aimed at removing Artsakh residents from Armenia and close the Artsakh issue. Ultimately, genocide was committed. All this is much better, understood by our enemy, who strived to close the Armenian issue itself, this time forever. Armen Hagopian. The entire article is in the issue of newspaper past. 
During the COP29 Climate Summit in Baku, which will start on 11 November, Azerbaijan will present plans to expand gas production in response to Europe's demand for energy supplies. This is happening at a time when scientists are warning that the increase in carbon dioxide emissions is threatening the future of humanity. The COP29 report calls for summit leaders to be true climate change advocates, not fossil fuel boosters. The report also mentions human rights violations in Azerbaijan with 263 cases confirmed by the European Court of Human Rights. In shadow of the great empires, there was a powerful king, the Murartu, which over the centuries became a symbol of an Palate power and innovation. Based in the 19th century before Christ, Urartu was not only a kingdom but also a center of impregnable fortresses and culture. It brilliantly displayed the precious creative spirit of its people. In Tushpania, the modern city of Van, the Urartians built fortresses that used modern solutions of stone architecture, a truly advanced and unprecedented phenomenon for that era. Together, archaeological discoveries and genetic analysis are reviving the glorious history of Urartu, making it an integral part of the identity of modern Armenians. The heritage of Urartu is evidence not only to the ancient roots of the Armenian people, but also confirmed their unique cultural and civilizational contribution to the history of the world. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.